Thank you for tuning in to It's a Lifestyle. I'm your host, Rachel. Today, we're going to talk about financial assistance and other assistance out there. The first program we're going to talk about is the United States Department of Agriculture. They have a loan program called the Rural Development where you can get a loan if you have if you are low or low income. Low income is defined as below 50% of the area median income and low income is between 50 and 80% of the AMI. The terms of the loan is up to 33 years and 38 for those who income below 60% of the AMI who cannot afford 33 year terms. Eligibility Welcome to the USDA Income and Property Eligibility site. This site is used to determine eligibility for certain USDA programs and USDA satellite grant programs. In order to be eligible for the USDA loan, household income must meet certain guidelines. Also, the home must be purchased in a rural area. To learn more about USDA home loan program, when you get on the site, click on the Loan Program Basics link. Determine if a property is located in an eligible rural area, click on the property eligibility link. And to determine income eligibility of an applicant or household, click on the income eligibility link. The states that are shaded gray are the USDA service locator. If it's not shaded gray, those states aren't considered rural areas and you would not be eligible for a USDA loan. But you might be considered for a FHA, Sally Mae, Freddie Mac, HUD, or a rehabilitation loan. Here's the official USDA loan contact list, which includes the contact person, phone number, and address. How the Direct Home Ownership Loan Program Works Under the program, individuals or families receive a loan directly from rural development. Payments are based on income with no down payment required. You must be unable to obtain a home ownership loan from a bank or other conventional sources. Even if you have minor credit problems, rural development may still be able to work with you. Loans under this program may be made for the purchase of an existing home or to build a new home. Other uses include purchasing and preparing sites, include providing water and sewer facilities, and repairing or renovating a house being purchased. They also have the Guaranteed Loan Program. If your income is too high to qualify for a direct housing loan, you may qualify for a guaranteed loan. These are loans made by other lenders, such as bank or credit unions, and are guaranteed by the rural development. They also have Home Improvement and Repair Assistance Program that you can ask for. They have the Single Family Housing Home Improvement Loan. They also have Home Repair Loan and Grant Programs. Um, that's under Section 504. They also have the Housing Preservation Grant Program. Now, if you need more help and can't get it from your actual state when I gave you the map earlier, you can write to USDA Rural Development. Rural Housing Programs, Stop 0701-1400 Independence Avenue, Southwest, Washington, D.C., 20515-0701, or you can call 1-800-670-6553 and press the number 1. The Downside the USDA has a history of refusing loans to black individuals and families. Every black person I referred did not get a loan, even though they met all eligibility requirements. There is a theory that your social security number allows any company to know whether you are black or white. In 2012, the final claims deadline nears for black farmers in the historic $1.25 billion settlement against the U.S. Department of Agriculture. It's been years in the making. Now 68,000 African-American farmers who say they were discriminated against will get money they won in a lawsuit against the U.S. Department of Agriculture. The next program is HUD Home Network. This is another government-insured loan program. The program is 100 down, and the monthly payments range from $100 to $1,200. The terms are 30 years and 5% APR. Visit HUDHomeNetwork.net. It's $23 to run your credit with HUD, but they do not provide the loan. They will refer you to a loan company, and your credit will be pulled again. 
So if you are concerned with hard inquiries on your credit report, only do this when you are ready to purchase a house because it will affect your credit score. Now, if you have low credit, there are programs out there such as FHA, um, the very popular government program mortgage that was created to level the playing field so that borrowers with all types of credit can get a mortgage with a competitive rate. If you have a 620, you can get a USDA which is the program I talked earlier in this video, no minimum for a VA and no minimum for a non-QM loan. How to buy a HUD home. Even though the house is 100 down, you need between 1,000 to 3,000 in closing costs, depending on the price of the house. You need two trade lines, such as a Montgomery Ward card, a college card, a bank card, to show your credit worthiness and that you can pay bills on time. And you also need two years of work history. The third program is the Homestead Exemption Recertification or Certification Program. You can apply if you are 65 years or older, you are disabled, and or if your income is less than $12,000. You can also apply if the home is where you permanently live and not a rental or a vacation home. You can pick up the form at your county courthouse. The fourth program is the hardship exemption from paying fees for garbage collection. It is not automatically granted. It can be denied. If you have a fixed income, low income, disability, SSI, or retirement, request a hardship form from the solid waste company where you live if you pay a monthly fee. In the state of Alabama, the state will issue a warrant for arrest if your garbage waste bill is not current. You have to state specifically when the hardship occur. List all persons living at the residence. This helps if you have dependents, but not if these individuals have income. You want to prove you are currently in a hardship. The document must be notarized. Please note, it is a Class C felony to falsely complete a written instrument required by a public office according to Alabama Criminal Code 13-A-9-3. Another program is the HRDC, the Human Resource Development Program. This is an energy assistance program, such as LIHEAP. In my area of Barber County, the local number is 334-687-8372. You must have a letter confirming the electricity company is going to shut your lights off. This is a once in a year program. Now, if you live in a different state, all you have to do is Google um, HRDC, Energy Assistance Program, or L-I-H-E-A-P, which is LAHEAP. This program is for special education teachers or those taking special education courses. UCT.org or the address is 632 North Park Street, P.O. Box 159019, Columbus, Ohio, 43215, and the phone number is 800-848-0123. I was approved for a $500 check. I do not know if this is the minimum or maximum amount. You have to pay for your books, tuition, or registration fees first, and if you qualify, United Commercial Travelers of America will reimburse you. Teachers can request a teacher loan forgiveness application if you are requesting forgiveness on a direct loan and or an FFEL program loan based on employment as a full-time teacher, at least five consecutive complete academic years at an eligible elementary, secondary, or educational service agency, and highly qualified full-time special education teacher for elementary and secondary school children with disabilities. You have to be highly qualified full-time math teacher for secondary schools, highly qualified full-time science teacher for secondary schools, or full-time secondary education teacher in a subject area relevant to your academic major before 2004, and a full-time elementary education teacher and demonstrated knowledge in teaching skills in reading, writing, mathematics, and other areas of elementary school curriculum, you can get your um, loan forgiven up to about $17,000. The second part of the application must be completed by the chief administrative officer and your loan must be current. 
Need money for college? Apply to become a Burger King scholar. Who can apply? High school seniors, employees, children, spouses, and partners of employees. Receive $1,000 to $50,000. Apply from October 15 to December 15, 2018. Visit www.bk-scholars.com. One-time grant from Alabama Power. Anyone with a bill of at least $150, call Barbara Carlton, 205-328-2420. What you'll need to bring is a power bill, a Lisa mortgage, ID, Social Security card, and proof of income. It will be paid up to $275, no income or age restrictions. Down Payment Assistance Program. $15,000 grant for home buyers, $17,500 grant for first responders and teachers. Qualification, you need a median income of $51,100 or below. First responder, median income $63,900 or below. You need a credit score of 620 plus. If your credit score is close to this, you may be able to qualify in time for the program. Earliest date to close is January 2nd, and you must attend a certification class. This is by a Florida licensed realtor who is offering this grant program with an accredited bank. There are only 335 grants being offered. So contact Julie Herman, Realtor at Realty Executives Gallery Properties, number 407-205-9433. You can also contact her at juliehermanrealtor at gmail.com. Have you been turned down because the credit score is too low? There's a VA program with a 560 credit score and no money down required program, but you have to be their customers only. Call today and find out more. Call Steve Javier, Realtor at 407-535-1608. Jacksonville Housing Finance Authority has a first time home buyer program. It's a 30 year fixed rate first mortgage and up to 10,000 in down payment and closing cost assistance and up to 2,000 federal tax credit per year. Participating lenders are Academy Mortgage. You can call Mary Keene at 904-813-0000. SWBC Mortgage, call Don Sturr at 904-887-1101. SWBC Mortgage, call Rick Holmes at 904-641-5100. The mortgage credit certificate that you will receive will allow you to reduce your mortgage interest paid of 2000 as a tax credit while continuing to use the balance as a tax deduction. How to qualify and apply. Qualifications. Buyer must be a first time home buyer with a few exceptions. Please speak with a participating lender. Purchasing a home in Duval County. Income limits. The income of all adults must be 18 years of age or over. Cannot be more than one or two person household with the income of 74254 three or more person household with the income of 85392 The sales price limit. The property must also qualify. The purchase price cannot exceed $199,000. The property may be a new or existing resident located anywhere within Duval County. Minimum credit score. Borrowers must have a minimum FICO credit score of 640. The mid score must be the minimum or better. Debt to income ratio may not be higher than 45%. Home buyer education. The borrower and anyone listed on the note must attend a home buyer education from any HUD approved education provider or attend the eHome America Online Education course. Veterans exception. A veteran who was discharged or released under conditions other than dishonorable does not need to be a first time buyer to participate in the program. The first time buyer requirement will be waived for a veteran and spouse. If you see one of the doctors at Southern Bone and Joint, they have a financial assistance program under Radiant Health Finance. Southern Bone and Joint Specialist is now offering Radiant Health Finance for our patient. Please ask for information regarding several different options that are offered to help with your financial needs for medical services. Wellness Screening Provider for the State Employees Health Insurance Board. You can visit www.alseib.org forward slash wellness. Digital Wish have a lot of grants, but you must become a member. 
New Wish grants available. Submit lesson plans to qualify for one of their grants, including a GoPro camera, a hover cam document camera, interactive presentation software, robotics, and an ASA Chromebook. Um, you must go to Digital Wish members to find out more. First time home buyers, we got an unbelievable loan product. $2,000 Home Depot card, $1,500 from Gill for closing costs. Call today at 303-525-9077. Eligibility and requirements. First time home buyers only. Down payment funds can be gifted to you. Must fall within income limits. Credit scores as low as 620. Maximum loan limits, $453,000 and you must attend a home buyer education program. The Spark Plug Foundation is the family foundation that funds startup organizations and new projects of established organizations in music, education, and community organization. Please explore their website to learn more about the process. Since our grantees are small and we're a small foundation, we have included a lot of details to simplify seeking grants from Sparkplug and avoid wasting your time. The New York Community Trust. If you want to be considered for a grant, send an application containing the items below. You will make your best case by giving us the information that we need on the outset. Your application should contain a cover letter on your stationery signed by your director, a completed New York Community Trust proposal sheet, a proposal no more than 10 pages, and it must include your agency background, mission, major activities, and credentials for carrying out your project, your project description, a brief statement of the problem to be addressed, goals and objective, target population, project activities, and your staff. You must um, have resumes included, plan for measuring the project results, and the project budget, expenses and income, your agency operation budget, a list of board of directors that you have, um, latest audited financial statements if available, and current annual report if available. You can contact the reception at 212-686-0010 at extension 0 to request the cover sheet, or you can download a printer-friendly version um, on the site. You can request free chess boards from U.S. Chess. Write to U.S. Chess Trust, P.O. Box 838, Wall Kill, New York 12589, W A L L K I L L, New York, www.uschess.org. You can email B D U S C F at AOL.com. The phone number is 845 527 1167. If you are trying to locate a missing person or you have been adopted, this program is for you. It's through the Salvation Army. It's called the Missing Persons Bureau. You can write to the Salvation Army Missing Persons Bureau, P.O. Box C-635 and West Nyack, N-Y-A-C-K, New York, 10994. The number is one 800 315 Seven six nine nine. Um, the instructions is to make a letter to a missing person through the Social Security Administration. You do not need the person's Social Security number. Um, if you don't have any identifying information, send a brief letter asking them to forward it if they have an address in their records. Be sure to include your complete address in the letter so they'll be able to write back to you. The procedure for following the letter, it must be brief, simply informing the missing person that you want to be in touch. Um, the following is what Social Security needs to identify an account. They can do this without the Social Security number, but it's helpful. If you have the person's full name, Social Security, which is optional, date of birth, place of birth, mother's full name, and mother's maiden name. If you have the person's social security number, you do not need the date and place of birth or parent's name. Social security was very helpful to us in many occasions. However, the letter of foreign services is not a program activity of social security administration. Therefore, they are restricting and what they can do to assist. If a letter is forwarded, they cannot guarantee its delivery 
or you will receive a reply, and they cannot forward a second letter under any circumstances. Mail your letter to be forwarded along with a cover letter describing why you need to um, reach this person. Do attention MOD 12 ET unit, Social Security Administration, Wilkes Bar, W I L K E S hyphen B A R R E, Data Operations Center, Room 264, 1150. East Mountain Drive, Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania, 18702-7997. So that's W I L K E S B A R R E P A 18702-7997. WIA Tuition Assistance Program. The Workforce Investment Act, WIA, is a fairly funded employment and training program. The focus of ACT is on assisting customers to develop workforce opportunities, access training, and manage their career choices through universal access to information and career oriented services. This is financial assistance at most colleges. WIA training grants are available each year for individuals to acquire skills that are currently in demand, such as respiratory therapy, nursing, welding, and many more. The length of the training program is up to a maximum of 9000 for an approved two-year course of study. To qualify, must be in need of training service to re-enter the labor force. One must also have skills that are no longer in demand, have low-wage job skills or little to no work history, must be able to enter the labor force quickly or short-term training, must register for work with Alabama Job Link Services, and actively pursue work with assistance from a career center. Um, to be eligible, you need to speak to someone at the career center. The stuff that you need is a social security number, date of birth, valid government ID, driver's license, income for all members of household, six months documentation can be pay stub, sign statement from employee, verification of government assistance such as SSI, welfare, food stamps. Dislocated workers should provide a layoff notice. Applicants under 19 must be accompanied by a legal guardian, and you will be tested for reading and math in order to get this grant. The training you need is closer than you think. Don't miss these upcoming fast track opportunities. As a certified nursing assistant, it's from January 7th to February 11th. The classes are Monday through Friday, 5 to 9 p.m. You could be a certified logistic associate January 15th to February 7th, Monday through Friday. The days vary from 5 to 8 p.m. Professional medical coding. The classes start January 15th and October 26th on Tuesday, 5.30 to 8 p.m. Industrial welding, January 22nd to April 15th, Monday through Thursday, 5 to 8. This program you can make between thirty to fifty thousand dollars so this is a great program right here and it's very short term pre-apprentice electrical line worker again another job that pays well february 4th to march 22nd from monday through friday 8 to 4 p.m and if you want to be in the eye care industry as a, an assistant february 11th to may 15th tuesday to thursday 6 to 9 p.m this is another uh, financial assistance program. It's held at Wallace Community College Workforce Development, 1141 Wallace Drive, Dothan, Alabama, 36303. The number is 334-556-2203, or you can reach them at www.wallace.edu. Housing Choice Voucher Program Tenant-Based Voucher Waiting List is back open. It opens Tuesday, December 11, 2018 and closes Thursday, December 13, 2018. Applications must be submitted online only and will not be available in paper form. Registration is free. To register during the application period, go to www.decathousing.org. Visit the AskGapFoundation.org. The AskGap Foundation is dedicated to nurturing the music talent of tomorrow, preserving the legacy of the past, and sustaining the creative incentive for today's creators through a variety of educational, professional, and humanitarian programs and activities which serve the entire community. Visit BrettMayerFoundation.org, B-R-A-I-T-M-A-Y-E-R, 
foundation.org. The Brett Mayer Foundation, located in Marion, Massachusetts, was established in 1964 through a gift from Marion S. Brett Mayer. The objective, the foundation is interested in proposals utilizing innovative practices in K-12 education throughout the United States. Our particular interests are curricular and school reform initiative, preparation of and professional development opportunities for teachers, particularly those which encourage people of high ability and diverse background to enter and remain in K-12 teaching. The guidelines, the foundation is pleased to have its grant used anywhere in the United States as seed money, challenge grants, or to match other grants to the recipient's organization. Verizon Wireless is extending its offer of three free months of service to customers in a total of nine Florida counties in the wake of Hurricane Michael. If you live in an area such as Dothan, which is very close to Panama City and was affected by Hurricane Michael, you can also contact Verizon. You will not get the entire three months, but they will waive at least one month for you. And you must call in twice. Grants.gov is a workspace that enables you and your colleagues to fill out wet forms and apply together. Create a workspace for an open funding program. Here you can apply for grants as an individual or as an organization. You'll go into the grant application, go to how to apply for grants. Then they'll show you how to track your application. You have a workspace overview. They'll tell you if you're eligible how to register as an organization or an applicant. They also have applicant training to help you how to train to get grants, and they'll give you frequently asked questions so that you don't encounter any errors. The Foundation Center is the world's leading source of information on philanthropy, fundraising, and grant programs. Click the Find Funding tab. Whatever your mission, discover the funders most likely to support you. Learn about their interests and perspective and gain the knowledge you need to win funding from them. United Way has a 211 call center where you can call for free transportation. Other programs that they have, United Way Born Learning is a learning initiative, offers practical tips for parents to help kids start school ready to succeed. MyFreeTaxes.org is an online free tax preparation service for young adults, working families, and anyone earning less than $60,000 a year. The 211 call that I talked about with transportation also deals with a confidential health and human services hotline, can be accessed by anyone from any computer or phone in times of need or crisis. United Way has also joined the fight to end human trafficking and modern slavery by raising awareness and providing a safe haven and protection for victims. They have an aging initiative which focuses on ensuring seniors and caregivers get the right support to lead vibrant lives. Behind on your electricity bill? Catholic Charities Diocese of Camden has been awarded a grant from Atlantic City Electric Helping Hands and can financially assist those behind on their electric bills. Contact them. If you use Atlantic City Electric and need help paying your bills, call your local Catholic Charities office. They're in Atlanta, Cape May County, Camden County, Cumberland County, Gloucester County, and Salem County. And you can look for the numbers below. Also in Atlanta is financial aid for the welding program. Welders are in high demand and make a great living. Here's an opportunity to make over $50,000 a year. Pipeline welders make more money than the average lawyer and underwater welders make more than the average surgeon. To schedule an interview, visit www.weldingatl.com. Most hospitals receive financial funding from the government. If you do not have insurance or you're not fully insured, you can ask the financial aid advisor at the hospital for a financial assistance application. Here's an example of one at Washington State where all their hospitals must provide financial assistance. Now they're gonna ask you to provide information about your family, your income, they might ask you to provide your tax documentation from the year before um, 
Additional information if needed and sign and date the form. You will receive a bill until they receive your information, but nine times out of 10, if you meet the income threshold along with your dependents, you will get approved for financial assistance. Request for financial assistance through the YMCA. This particular program is in Montgomery, but you can ask any YMCA if they're offering any financial assistance. Now for this program, to process the application, you need to provide all documentation for family membership. Each working adult needs to provide their proof of income. You need a completed financial assistance application, copy of the most recent tax return, copy of two recent pay stubs for each working person within the household, copy of social security or disability checks, copy of recent welfare benefits, food stamps, and or Section 8 housing letter, copy of unemployment benefit statements. If you have no income, you need a notarized letter from person who provides your monthly living expenses. NCCS, the National Children's Cancer Society, they also provide transportation assistance for those who are in need. Operation We Are Here, resources for the military community and military supporters. Now, this is a financial assistance program that deals with air travel assistance, financial assistance for wounded warrior families, families of the fallen Gold Star families. They have financial guidance program. They deal with homelessness or at risk to be homeless, military discounts, wish granted, and transportation assistance. On the right side of the website are other resources you may utilize. Step Up Mortgage Program. In order to apply for the Step Up Program, home buyers must meet certain requirements. All applicants are required to have a credit score of at least 620 and their annual household income must not exceed 97300 regardless of family size or property location. The property must be financed by an AHFA approved conventional loan through participating lenders. Applicants are also responsible for completing a home ownership education course. Property guidelines. Any property being purchased must be a new or existing home in Alabama that is meant to serve as the applicant's primary residence within 60 days of closing. The Step Up Program, the financial assistance for home buyers in Alabama, but there might be one in your state as well. The Alabama Housing Finance Authority aims to make the mortgage process more affordable for eligible applicants who are interested in purchasing a home but need financial help to do so. So that's where you can get more information from your realtor or your bank. Go to your bank and ask if they participate in the Individual Development Account, or better known as IDA. Get paid to save. Watch your money grow. When you save $1, it's like saving $5. How does it work? Every dollar saved is matched with four more dollars. The maximum saving amount is $1,000, and the maximum match is $4,000. The program has a 36-month saving period. You can use the IDA to purchase a home, start or grow a small business, pay college tuition. Who is eligible? If you are a current Jefferson County resident, you meet the minimum score of the IDA pre-application, have earned income, and meet one of the following income requirements. Household income is at or below 200% of the poverty guidelines, and you can go to this website to figure out um, if you meet that. You have a net worth of less than $10,000. You are receiving TAF or welfare or eligible to receive welfare. You qualify for the earned income tax credit. Now, this program is in Jefferson County, but you can also ask your participating bank. Just like the IDA, we have the IDEA, IDEA, Individual Development Education Account Program. This is through Goshen College. Go to G-O-S-H-E-N dot E-D-U forward slash I-D-E-A. Grow your dollars. Receive an 8 to 1 match with this program. Save $500 for college and get $4,000. 
The Northampton Arts Council seeks funding proposal. Every October 15th is the deadline for organizations, schools, and individuals to apply for grants that support cultural activities in the community, funding a variety of artistic endeavors in Northampton, Florence, and Leeds, including exhibits, festival, field trips, short-term artist residencies, scholarships, or performances in schools, workshop, and lectures. For more information, please visit www.northamptonartscouncil.org. Anesthesia Patient Safety Foundation announces the procedure for submitting grant application. Deadline to submit letters of intent, LOIs, for a grant to begin January 1st, 2020 is February 1st, 2019. LOIs will be accepted electronically beginning January 8th, 2019 at apply.apsf.org. The maximum amount is $150,000 for a study conducted over a maximum of two years to begin January 1st, 2020. Based on the APSF's Scientific Evaluation Committee's review of these LOIs, a limited number of applicants will be invited to submit a full proposal. Instructions for submitting a letter of intent can be found at the below website. Southern Filmmaker Grant. You can find more information at southerndocumentaryfund.org forward slash programs. If you have a problem or complaint with any company, go to the Office of the Attorney General Hit the Consumer Complaint tab. This is the Consumer Hotline for Alabama, 1-800-392-5658 or 334-242-7335. When you put in Attorney General, make sure you put in for your state and they will give you the Consumer Hotline and the application for you to fill out. Now fill out the form completely and describe your situation in as much detail as possible. Now the attorney general is very powerful, but if the other company is not willing to participate, the attorney general will let you know that all they can do is try to be a mediator. But at that point, you might have to seek legal counsel and take that company to court. If you have legal matters and can't afford a lawyer, type in the name of your state along with legal aid. When you call, they're going to ask you income information, who are your dependents, and what is the issue. Now, if you follow the income threshold, they will give you assistance. I have not heard anyone that even if they did not follow the income threshold, that they did not help. Now, they will... Speak to you over the phone and send you documentation through the mail to help you with your case. U.S. Small Business Administration, or better known as SBA, your small business resource. Start and grow your business. Want to be an entrepreneur? Learn how to get started with the SBA. Plan your business. You got a great idea? Now make a plan to turn into a great business. Launch a business. Turn your business into a reality. Register, file, and start doing business. Manage your business. Run your business like a boss. Master day-to-day -day operations and prepare for success. And they also have tools to help you grow your business. When business is good, it's time to expand. Find new funding, locations, and customers. SBA helps with free business counseling, get business advice from partnering organizations and experts, find counselors who can help you, SBA guarantee business loan, find an SBA lender near you to help fund your business. They also help with home and business disaster loans, apply for a low interest disaster loan to help recover from declared um, disasters, apply for other assistance, federal government contracting, qualified to win small business government contracts. And you can do that also with the government site that I gave you earlier. GATCF helps people who don't have health insurance and those who have health insurance but have trouble paying for Esprit. If you qualify for GATCF, you can receive it for free. To apply for GATCF, you must enroll in Access Solutions. Learn more here. Call 1-844-693-7274 and press the number 2. United States Tennis Association, USTA Facility Assistance Program. The USTA offers technical and financial support to improve tennis facilities across the country. 
In addition, selected communities will be appointed project consultants from the USTA national staff who will deliver personalized support and service. Applications for assistance are accepted on a rolling basis. To learn more, apply at nrpa.org. United States Golf Association, USGA, Alliance Grant Program. With funding from the USGA, the National Alliance for Accessible Golf is providing financial assistance and resources to make golf more accessible to people with disabilities. The funding agency is especially interested in projects that focus on the inclusion of people with disabilities in programs that involve those without disabilities, with the ultimate goal of enhancing their inclusion into the fabric of their community. Applications will be accepted from 501c3 nonprofit organization and government entities. Grants are generally limited to $20,000. Applications will be accepted on a rolling basis. To learn more and to apply, go to nrpa.org. Visit foundationscps.org. Grant applications open at the beginning of each school year. To receive funding early in the school year, Teachers should submit requests by September deadline. This allows time to order and receive materials and supplies, implement the project, and measure the outcome prior to deadlines. Even though you did not make it for this year, you can start getting stuff together for next year. The grants that they award are $500 for the classroom project and up to $1,500 for grade level or school-wide projects. Reminders, all projects must have measurable outcomes and align with the Florida Standards application as required by the guidelines. The grant cycle are only offering programs for STEM subjects, literacy, and the arts. At this time, they do not have funding available for social sciences or physical education. Community Facilities Direct Loan and Grant Program, Rural Communities. This is the USDA program, but they not only give loans to individuals, they give loans to organizations. The United States Department of Agriculture, USDA, provides grant low interest direct loans and or a combination of the two to develop essential community facilities in rural areas, including public facilities, community support services, and local and food systems such as community gardens and food hubs. Public entities, nonprofit organizations, and tribal entities in rural communities are eligible to apply. Applications accepted on a rolling basis. Learn more and apply at nrpa.org. Can-Aid Crush It Crusade Grants. The Can-Aid Foundation has accepted applications from communities, local organizations, and local government entities to help support recycling programs. The foundation awards small grants to fund program expenses, including signage and education, and also provides in-kind recycling tents and bins and training on sustainable waste management. The typical award amount is $5,000. Applications are accepted, again, on an ongoing basis. Learn more and apply at nrpa.org. Common Council Foundation Still We Rise Fund. The Still We Rise Fund is designed to support community-based efforts to defend residents and families, build resiliency, and develop new strategies and alliances to support the rights of vulnerable communities, including immigrants, Blacks, Arab and Muslim, Native American, women working class, and the LGBTQ communities. Eligible applicants are 501c3 nonprofits and other community entities with a 5013c3 fiscal sponsor. The typical award size is $5,000. Applications, again, are accepted on a rolling basis and distributed monthly. Learn more and apply at nrpa.org.